Came to Morristown, Tafshin Lamed Hay. There was a certain excitement, you know, dorming. It was the first time I dormed away from home. My first impressions were that it's a very big campus. The outside is surrounded by lots of green grass and trees. I wanted to go to a place that was a little more quieter, a place where you can study without any outside interruptions. When I entered into the Zal downstairs into Ferris, I saw some really serious learning. And then I accidentally went upstairs to Tomchei, and I saw so many friendly people and very interesting learning and nice rabbis. Morristown being one campus, no matter what program you're in, no matter your age, you're always surrounded by people and you can always talk to people. It was small and there were just a half a dozen bedrooms upstairs. But for 15 Bachram, it, uh, it was a very intimate space. A group that was very much united. I remember the Seder Nagunim, we would sing songs as Shabbos entered at the beginning of Shabbos. It was beautiful. Of course, Seder, 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 what I just, uh, all the nostalgia comes back. <laughs> Every time we would finish a mimer or a sicha, I would have this uh, shtick to go to Ramelech. Every time speaking with him, you would think that he just learned the sicha literally just with you. In order for any individual to be able to have an impactful day learning Gemara, you have to be able to interact with others. And those interactions, while they started out on an intellectual level, they developed into an emotional interaction as well. I had a classmate, Mendel Schneerson, and it was Hanukkah, if, if I recall correctly. So Hanukkah had also a particular warmth because he went to light candles, and he decided to start singing. And suddenly the whole base medrash of maybe 70, 80 guys all were singing. It was just so beautiful, it was spontaneous. So the special thing I picked up here was really, I think, the ability to go halach la to go from the Gemara, take it all the way down, to Shulchan Aruch, there's something you can practically apply to yourself and to daily life. What Rabbi Shapiro taught us, sometimes a task could seem very big and daunting. If you break it down and you look how much I accomplished so far, it gives you the koyach and the excitement and the encouragement to keep going weiter. I could finish an entire Mesechta, and not only one Mesechta, I could finish two, so that's something that really showed me what, what talents I have if I put myself to it with the helps of the teachers. Truly, we did not waste a minute between Fabrengens, between Shiurim, between Chavrusas, between working on the Ardes Atmimim before giving out a Koivitz. It's one thing to learn Chabad Chassidus, it's another thing to learn how to live it. Here at Morristown, Rav Hashem, we don't only learn what we've been taught how to actualize and bring it all the way down into what we do on a daily basis. Here, it gave us an opportunity to really develop ourselves and our connection with each other. And uh, the friendships I made there were very profound. I must say, it was my best years of my life. <laughs>